My name's Sambal. I'm Brooklyn Ball. This is Rain and Ball. And together we are Australia by the Balls. Hey guys and welcome back to another episode. This week we find ourselves in Southwest WA. That's right, last week we were in Queensland at Tiwa. This week we're in WA. We've been reunited with our little papa Maeve. But hang on a sec, let's rewind, recap, and we'll show you guys how we got here. This week we are at North Stradbroke Island, arguably one of Queensland's best islands. It is up there with Fraser, it's up there with Morton. I reckon it's number one. <laughs> we're going to be starting off at Brown Lake. We're here now. Uh, you can tell why it's called Brown Lake. It's pretty brown. But yeah, we're going to be spending the next 10 days here, so let's stop talking and get straight into it. So Brown Lake is about a 10-15 minute drive from Dunwich, which is where you get to North Stratty on the ferry. Um, it's not too far at all, it's an easy drive to get here. Now the lake itself is actually brown and it's fresh water as well. So you can swim here, uh, you can sup, you can kayak, you can do everything. There's no power boats on this lake. We're not going to hang around here for too much longer though because we want to go find the Blue Lake, which is another freshwater lake on Stratty. So not quite sure where it is, but we're going to go find it now. just made it to the Kabora Trail, which is the trail you need to take to get to the Blue Lake. It's about a three kilometer long track. One way. One way, so six kilometers return, quick math. And we've got a lot of stuff packed <laughs> up. We want to try and go supping there. We've got the drone, we've got an umbrella, and we've got all Ronan's baby gear in our new little carrier. Ronan's in the back. <laughs> He's loving it. He's loving it, but I'm not sure Six kilometers is a long way to drag this thing, so hopefully it's brand friendly. <laughs> Anywho, let's keep going, otherwise we'll never make it. <laughs> We've made it just under halfway. It is stinking bloody hot. This carrier, this this trolley, very hard to pull. So I think we're gonna make the call to do a Yui and we're just gonna go have a beach day, I reckon. It's, uh, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to make it. Well, we could make it there, but we're gonna be wrecked and it's a pretty decent hike. So we're gonna head back, go to the beach and just have a beach day. Mama approves. 
Sometimes when you're traveling, you just have complete fails. And that was one of them. We put the drone up in the air. We were about halfway and we still had so far to go. We definitely overestimated how difficult it would be, especially carrying all of this stuff. I've got an idea how we can fix this day. Uh, all right, let's go. Nah, this isn't quite right. I'll try that again. That's better. Check out the view. We're gonna have a beer, have some lunch, and then hit reset on this day. How's that for a reset? What a bloody ripper day! It is absolutely beautiful. There's even some waves behind us. We've just gone out this morning for a quick walk up to Point Lookout around the headland. We've got Main Beach at North Stratty behind us. The waves are on. It is going to be an awesome day. Originally we planned to go to North Stradbroke Island for 10 days and then make our way down south through New South Wales, Victoria and then eventually uh, on our way back to WA. But unfortunately that wasn't the case. Uh, two days into being at North Stradbroke we received a call from my mum um, and just before we left, she had left for Stradi, she had taken Maeve to the vet. So we knew we were waiting for some results, but we didn't think it was going to be as bad as what the results actually were. Yeah, so this is Maeve here. So she's our four-year-old papa. She is a rescue dog. She is a Great Dane mix. Um, and it turns out Maeve has a genetic lymphoma. Yeah, basically, so there's no real cure for it. Um, it's just something that was passed down through her genetics and basically um, she was given a few weeks to live. Right then and there, we decided to completely change our plans. Um, if you've been following along from, from the start of our um, YouTube career, you'd know that um, we lost um, another one of our papas, Phoebe, um, earlier on in the trip. And basically we didn't want to do that again so we decided to make the decision to make our way back to WA. So five and a half days later, we were back in WA. Sam and I and Ronan traveled from Stratty to Adelaide in three days where Ronan and I got a flight back to WA. And then Sam took two and a half days to go across the Nullarbor back to the Southwest. Um, the vet gave us a couple of different options with what we could do with Maeve um, and the best option for us was there is this, um, this drug that we can give her that slows the growth of the, of the cancer right down um, so she's not in any pain and basically it prolongs her, her life by a little bit. So that has allowed us to, like Brooklyn said, make our way back super quick and um, yeah, we've completely changed our plans now and we're going to be travelling southwest WA with Maeve. <laughs> so we're playing it by ear at the moment. Um, 
obviously the drugs can give her up to six to eight weeks um, of good living left but it's all dependent on how her body takes it so we're just taking a few days as it comes not booking ahead um, and just spending as much time as possible we can in giving her the best quality of life that we can give her in these last few weeks um, it is really hard and sad knowing that you know Maeve hasn't got long to live but what Sam keeps telling me is you know this was always going to be her life she was always going to get this it was genetics but I think we've given Maeve the best four years that she could have had she's our beautiful girl and you know it is what it is but we're gonna give her the best best send-off yeah, so I guess that's a good segue into this little mini series. So we'll be traveling the southwest with Maeve and just having a fun time. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, let's roll on with the episode. of the solo trip done and dusted. It was a massive slog. I went from Adelaide basically all the way to the WA border, about 50 k's east of it, um, on the Great Australian Bight. I found this wicked little camp on Wiki Camps. It's a cliff top camp. You can see the van is literally on the cliff top. It's meters to the edge. Pretty scary. I'm gonna be chocking the wheels tonight, that is for sure. Um, but it's crazy windy. The wind is insane. Um, driving across, it was about 40 degrees and then the wind changed direction and it was blowing in from the ocean and it dropped straight down to 20 degrees, which was awesome because I was getting a bit worried it was gonna be hot tonight. Um, so that's a positive of the wind. The negative is that I can't put the drone up to show you guys how awesome this looks because I'm worried that the wind will just take it and it will be gone forever because there is no way you're getting down these cliffs to get it back if it falls. Anyway, I'm gonna. I'm pretty wrecked, so I'm gonna um, have some dinner. Brooklyn cooked me up some pasta, so I can just heat it up in the microwave. So excited for that! Um, but I'm gonna have an early night now, so I can get back on the road in the morning and hopefully get pretty close to making it back. just in case. Good morning, it is day two of the solo drive. I've gotten up nice and early, it's about 6 a.m. Adelaide time. 
So that would be 5, 4, 4.30, 3.30 WA time, not quite sure. Um, the sun's just started to come up. It's a bit of an overcast day. It's still really windy. Um, so I'm going to hit the road. I've got my coffee in the car, ready to go. Let's do this. Day two. Quick update, we've made it to Norseman and Google has tried to take me on a shortcut through on the High, um, Hyden Norseman Road. Uh, it's a dirt road, I think it's a couple of hundred kilometers long. I've just pulled over and had a look and the road conditions are open. So I've got the van to do it, I've got the water, I've got the food, I have everything. It takes 220 kilometers off this trip going across through to Hyden. So you know what, I thought bugger it, let's do it. <laughs> so, Fingers crossed, I just gave Brooklyn a call and let her know where I'm going. Um, but yeah, we should be fine. Famous last words, I know. But let's do it. Oh, almost fell over. All right, we've just hit the start of the dirt road. So I'm gonna go turn the caravan on. That thing is a must if you are building a brand new caravan add one of them to your collection because i'll tell you what it has paid for itself i don't even think it was that expensive to be honest when we added it in but it is the best thing ever oh hello we've had a little bit of a uh bill a couple of drinks and a candle that's not good That road was actually awesome. It knocked a couple of hours off the trip and a couple of hundred Ks. It is extremely well maintained and I would definitely take it again if I was in the area. I ended up making it back to WA uh, in two and a half days. Went straight to meet up with Brooklyn, Ronan and Maeve. Picked them up and we continued on our journey south to our next destination. Just brought Maeve down to Peaceful Bay, which is one of the dog beaches in the area. Now, the first thing you're going to want to know about Peaceful Bay is that it's not peaceful. <laughs> it's a windy day, so. Like a lot of the uh, southwestern uh, coastline, it is extremely rugged and raw, and we are being smashed by the elements here. Very, very windy. We'll show you that in a sec. Um, the second thing you're going to want to know about this place is that there is so much to see. So coming down here with a dog is super restrictive. Um, there's a lot of national park, there's a lot of four wheel driving and um, scenic spots you can go to. Um, but obviously with a dog you can't go to those places unless you can get a dog sitter or something like that, which we do not have. So we're not going to see those places this time, um, but you know what? If you're, you're not... traveling with a dog, stop in at Peaceful Bay. <laughs> it is a good beach yeah, yeah. and it's easy to drive on we didn't have to air down and i reckon when it's not windy it would be beautiful back at camp we just did the valley of the giants treetop walk which was awesome 21.50 per adult 
Um, the ground floor was closed, but they are doing tours on the hour. But unfortunately, we can't stick around because it's time for us to get going. Anywho, guys, we're going to wrap this episode up now because we're on to our next camp, which we'll show you next week. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow. And we'll see you at the next one. You!